Hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. I just wanted to come on and give everyone a huge thank you because yesterday I hit 1000 subscribers which is insane. I didn't think I would get there at all, never mind in less than a year. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has watched the videos and liked and left comments and everything. Uh, it's been amazing for me. I can't thank you all enough and I just wanted to pop on and say thank you. Considering this time a couple of years ago I was thinking of not doing art as a career, I was thinking of giving up on it. It's just really made me want to keep going and try new things and I know the channel has been a bit random because it's kind of a place for me to experiment and try out things. It's sort of like a visual journal almost where you guys can join in and watch along and watch me try out different things and try new techniques. So if you ever have any ideas for anything please feel free to let me know because I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, but yeah, I want to really expand my skills and keep going with this. And it's it's crazy to, to say that I'm, I'm doing art mostly full time now and I'm really excited about the future. And again, thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and helped the channel grow so quickly. I'm very very grateful. So this week's video is going to be a little bit random. I missed last week unfortunately because I was in Scotland and I did film a bit while I was there but I didn't have enough for a full video. So I'll show you that after I'm done here and I'm also going to show you I had a little art haul and I've been painting um, a couple of bits and bobs, mostly birds, because that's mostly what I paint nowadays, so that's kind of the thing I'm known for. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, show you some more of that later in the video. Yeah, I've got exciting plans for the future, and I really want to start getting back into a bit more fantasy art and more detailed illustration the type of thing I used to do that I haven't done for the last few years I've mostly been doing animals and nature stuff which I do enjoy and I will keep doing but I also want to kind of broaden my horizons a bit and try and get back into more narrative illustration with little characters and stories because I really enjoy that but I haven't been doing it the last few years because of some personal reasons. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'm very very grateful and yeah, I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Thanks. Pretty clear, actually. Yeah. You can tell these.
Yes, I got Zilla. I've just had a package come in the post and I thought I would show you what I've ordered. It's kind of a, a random haul, I guess. Jackson's were having an acrylic paint sale and oh, I needed a restock of some colours so I thought I might as well order them while they're on offer. Uh, I can't really remember what I got. <laughs> I've been that busy the last few days. So it's quite exciting. I know that a lot of colours I wanted were not in stock. That's my only problem with Jackson's. Nothing's ever in stock. Okay. And everything's come nice and wrapped. They always wrap things really well. It's like Christmas. Ah. So I got some of these Liquitex soft body paints. I, uh, I've only got one and I really like it. And I think as my heavy body runs out, I'm going to restock it as soft body, but I really needed a cadmium yellow deep, so I got theirs. And I've also been after a Viridian for mixing, so I got this transparent one, see what it's like. And a deep magenta. I've already got a, qua a quinacridone magenta by Daniel, not Daniel, <laughs> Daniel Smith, they don't make acrylic, um, by Golden, and I really liked it, but I thought I'd get theirs to try, because I know this is a colour I'll use tons of, and it looks a little bit more purpley, so I got those three, I did want other colours, but like I say, they were out of stock, so I just got these three for now. One. Oops. Oh, I got this Studio Acrylic by Jackson's. This is their own make. I guess this is their soft body. And I don't know what it'll be like, but I got it to try because it's quite inexpensive and it's it says a heavy body, but it comes in a bottle. I got Prussian blue because I know I'll use this colour tons, even if I just use it for priming canvases. 
There's our light dark blue. Put that to try. So I got a bottle of this. This is so expensive, but I already have a bottle of it. I'll go get it. It's my old one. I've had this for about five years and it's very nearly empty. I use it for my hand painted stones. It's just the nicest gold paint I've ever found. So I got another one. But yeah, this is a very nice gold. It's about £10 a bottle, but it's it's good. And I got another high flow, I got manganese blue hue. This looked like a nice colour. I just pick these up occasionally because they are quite expensive. I wanted a cerulean blue in this and they were all sold out so I got this. Because it was kind of similar looking and it was a series one. And then... Ah! Some gold lino printing ink. So yeah. That's my little haul from Jackson's that wasn't so little price-wise. It was still quite expensive even though everything apart from this was on sale. Yeah, that's exciting. I think I'll use all of these. I just pick colours that I know I'll go for. But yeah. Some new acrylic paints and lino ink. Really excited about that. <laughs>
before I'd show you the finished bird. Here he is. So this one isn't part of the bird project. This one's actually for an upcoming market event thing I'm at. I don't really know what to call it. But I wanted to paint some original artwork to try and sell. I've never sold original acrylic paintings before. So this is going to be quite exciting. I didn't want them to be realistic. But I have tried a couple of new things because I want to do more acrylic painting. I really enjoy it but I don't do it a ton. So yeah, it's a bit hard to show you because it's still quite shiny. I will varnish it in a couple of days once the paint's settled and it'll even everything out. But I had a lot of fun with this one. I did use some of my new paints to paint this. So the gold flex are this colour. I haven't opened this bottle yet because I still have a little bit left of my old bottle but it's this gold that I really like. And as you can see, it's just really bright and punchy. I also used the magenta and I glazed some of that in for the brown and the red and even the black to get the purplish colour. Um, I do like it. It's not a great magenta. Some of the mixes are a bit muddy because as you can see, it's not a pure colour. It's got all these pigments in it, so I suspect that that's what the problem is. But it mixes beautifully sometimes. <laughs> You've just got to be careful. Like, it doesn't work very well with this yellow. Um, but I already have... This was a replacement of a tube of Galleria Cadmium Yellow Deep I have. And it mixes wonderfully with that, so I just ended up using the last bit of that for this. But it doesn't mix with this. Paints, they're really annoying. I didn't use the green, but I did swatch it out and it's nice. Um, I will use it, it's the type of colour I like to mix purples and greys. I know that sounds really counterintuitive, but trust me, Viridian's great colour. And the blues, this one by Jackson's, I've used a ton of, I've been using it for a few projects, and I didn't use it for the background because I'd already painted that blue before I got this but um, it's all right it's it's not the best but considering it was about four pounds something for this massive tube it's pretty I like the color of it it's not very opaque it says it's opaque but as you can see from the swatch here it's more semi-opaque to translucent and the other blue I got was by Golden, this manganese blue. I really like this, but it's super thin. So I'm probably just going to use it for glazing. I'll show you, because this isn't the only bird I've been painting. So I'll just show you. So this is one of the others. It's not done yet. But I was using this colour to do a bit of glazing. And I'll probably use it some more, because I really want to push all this foliage back and build it up. But yeah, you can see the colours really pretty. And that's that gold again. So this one's not done. I'll show you it when it is done, but it's cute puffin. And I'm also painting a pheasant, but I've just started him. He looks like a complete mess. I just thought I would show you the final painting. It's a ton of fun to paint. Didn't spend as much time on it as I would normally budget for a big canvas painting like this. But I enjoyed it, so hopefully you did too. And you get to see how my paintings start off as a complete hot mess. <laughs> but it's all part of the process. You've just got to trust, trust in the process. I wanted to ask. I know a lot of you don't comment, but uh, please do about this, because I wanted your opinions. The bird project that I've been working on. I haven't uploaded anything from it for ages and the reason for that is I said every tenth bird in the project 
because I'm going to be painting a hundred, I wanted to do as a big canvas or acrylic painting and I have been sticking to that but my problem is, so here's what I want your opinion on. Canvas paintings take me a really long time, especially the detail I want to do for this one, for these uh, birds. And I don't think it's fair to basically put the project on hold for you guys, because the project is meant to be also for you guys to document the process. And I get, I got to number 10 and it's been weeks because I haven't had time to work on the painting because I've got other things that are more important. So I might only get two or three hours a week to work on it. And I don't think that that is fair. So here's what I'm asking. So this is how all the other birds have been painted. They are on watercolour paper using watercolour pencils so I was wondering the magpie painting I'll show you some pictures of it while I'm talking I don't know whether I just leave that and I'll finish it in my own time come back to working like this and forget about doing the tenth one as an acrylic painting just do it in the same style as these so they'll all match more even though I, I wanted them to not quite match but they'll all match, they'll all be in this style, but just do them a bit bigger. So I'll still do the two magpies for number 10, but more like this. On an A3 piece of paper, this is A5. So I just wanted your opinion on that. That means I can kind of work on the project faster. Because these, I give myself about three to four hours for these bird paintings. Sometimes I don't need all of that. But that's kind of my time budget I put aside. Whereas a big canvas, like what I've started for the magpies, I budget between, you know, 60 to 100 hours, depending. And if I only get five hours a week free to do my own painting, I can get one of these done a week, but I can't get the canvas done. And the main reason for that is just because of the, the way I paint. It's a lot of layers and glazing, and it's just slow going but this is faster on paper so I just wanted your opinions on that it's probably what I am going to do going forward and I'm still busy for the next couple of weeks but just in case you're wondering what happened to the magpie acrylic painting I will finish it but it might take me like six months <laughs> with the way things are going but I, I might just continue the project in this style but yeah that's a little update on the bird project.